don't know what's more useless, this movie or you people who rated this a 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. It, like, anybody reviewing this movie, okay, who said that, oh, I've seen the first two Bad Boy movies and this is just as good or even better. You've never seen the first two Bad Boys movies. You're lying. You're full of shit. Okay? There's no way. There's no way you saw the first two Bad Boys movies, liked the first two Bad Boys movies, saw Bad Boys for Life, and said, this is just as good or better than the first two. Okay? Because, uh, like, th there's, this is a, there's a nothing, first of all, action-wise, this movie brought nothing to the table. Okay? It brought nothing new. And it brought nothing to the table. Okay? You're going to tell me that Bad Boys for Life was just as good, if not better, than the previous ones? Explain to me what happened in Bad Boys for Life that even remotely compares to the highway chase scene in Bad Boys, Bad Boys 2. Go ahead. What, what are you going to say? The, the motorcycle chase? That, you're going to compare the motorcycle chase to the highway scene in Bad Boys 2. Not even close. It's not even close. The, the, nothing, nothing happens in this movie because the two main actors are too goddamn old and too... Will Smith isn't going to put in any effort into this movie. He doesn't have to. Okay? Mark Lawrence isn't in the shape to put in it. He's barely even comic relief in, in this movie. It, it, this was a joke of a... This movie was ridiculous. Okay? I, I, I cannot possibly understand what anybody even... Like this, it's not that this movie sucked. Okay? This movie was at best mediocre and it's instantly forgettable there is nothing from this movie you will you you can make a clip of and go oh yeah that's how good this movie was what what are you going to show a clip of marcus firing at them at the helicopter with the minigun the, the that three second clip what else I, there was nothing and and, and the plot the plot Okay, um, obviously spoilers if you haven't seen this movie. He, it's all about the fact that the person who's trying to kill him is the girl he got pregnant and it's, his, and it's their son that's trying to kill him, but he doesn't know it's his father. At the end of the movie, at the end of the movie when, uh, oh, Will Smith's character, um, Mike, when Mike meets his son, because he knows it's his son and wants to confront him, and he wants to tell, and, he, and he's going to tell him, I don't want to fight you, I, I literally went, I, I went, seriously, go ahead, I dare you, say I am your father. Because that, it's as if that's what that whole scene was set, up, was set up to say. No, you're my son. Well, who are you? Who are you? I'm your... This was, this was so... I am not, okay, a huge Michael Bay fan, but Bad Boys, okay, is a Michael Bay IP, okay, it, it's successful because of, of the touch that Michael Bay ga gave those movies, that's why you, th that's why fans of the original two liked the original two. Okay, the directors for this movie, it, th this is like, this isn't Bad Boys for Life. This is Bad Boys Light. Okay, th th this is a watered down, because again, the two main actors are too damn old to even bother even trying to even be an action movie. And, and as for the action, it's literally, oh yeah. We need to have some type of uh, mandatory action scene. Let's just throw one in every once in a while. Because it's all about the characters. And it's like, 
And it's so goddamn forced and milked. Because, like, we did all that in, in Bad Boys 2. The whole... The whole Marcus wanting to retire and calm down and be gentle. The, that was turned into a joke with the whole uh, spiritual type aspect and learning your karma and like <clears throat> Marcus's attempt at trying to be, you know, calmer and not as violent. That was turned into a joke. That's what made that aspect of Marcus interesting. In this one, he's literally not wanting to do anything. He doesn't want to do anything. Okay, and even when he's in the middle of doing something, he still doesn't want to do anything. It's not a joke anymore. It's not humorous. It, it, it's a personality trait that's already been established in Bad Boys 2, and it's just simply milked in this one. Oh, it's character development, because now he's a grandfather. The first scene, when he's holding his, ba with his grandson, that was good. That was fine. That was the character of Marcus, and it's taking his, uh, I don't want to, what, what, uh, his calming down aspect and, and wanting to just settle down, and it made it as the joke. That's Marcus's character. But then it's, and he needs glasses, but never wants to wear them. And then at the end of the movie, when he finally puts them on, it's like, oh, oh, these are good. I should have worn these before. He's never worn the glasses before. He, he has glasses. He's never worn them before. It, he can't shoot anything if he doesn't have the glasses because he can't see anything. But he can shoot when he's not. Uh, the action is, is, is mediocre at best. Th this Bad Boys for Life, the directors are going, this is what would Michael Bay do, right? And, and they don't even pull that off. Because it, I, I, I'm actually, I was, I went into this movie with no expectations. And, the, and this movie met all of them. Met all of them. I am, I am my, the movie gave me no reaction. It was just blah. The only reaction of this movie I got was seeing all the positive reviews of this movie. Like, like, what? For you to like this movie as a good action movie, what low expectations and what attempt and concept of, of action do you 20 year olds actually have? I, like, you rated this movie, you rated Bad Boys 2, okay, on par with Endgame and Infinity War. Do you understand? You rated Bad Boys for Life on par with John Wick, okay, Infinity War, Endgame, J Joker. This is, this is... This is how high you rated Bad Boys for Life. Okay? Th this is how useless your ability to rate films are. Forget the uh, forget the, the critic score. Forget the critics. Uh, it's already established that the critics are useless. You rating Bad Boys for Life on 96% establishes you're irrelevant. Like I wasn't even gonna make I wasn't even gonna make a video on this because it was I go, I go there, there's nothing to make fun of there's nothing to mock because it's it's just nothing there's nothing to compliment there's nothing to get mad at except for the fact that it's not very good it wasn't until I went you know what well, let me see what the what what the audience score is the the fact that I saw ninety six percent was beyond my understanding okay and the review. The reviews for this movie, no way, there's no goddamn way, okay? You saw the first two Bad Boys movies, liked them, and thought this movie was on par or better than the first two. Because if you do, you're, you're full of shit, 
Okay? You're full of shit. It, it is object, and it's not a question. And it's not a question of uh, uh, personal preference. This movie is objectively worse than the first two movies. Objectively. It has nothing to do with opinions. Okay? Okay? It, it's like saying, uh, like an opinion is, I like, uh, I like green peppers more than I like apples. That's, an, that's a subjective an opinion. Telling me that uh, a green pepper is a better fruit than an apple is, is not an opinion anymore. It's absolute bullshit. Okay? Comparing bad boys for life with the other two bad boys is, 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 is comparing apples and oranges or apples and, and green peppers. Because they're not even in the same boat anymore. It's just simply the same two characters. But the whole theme and the whole feel and the whole aspect of the Bad Boys franchise is nowhere in this movie. It, it's just... It's like watching the first Lethal Weapon. Okay? And both leads are Danny Glover's character. Because that's all it is. Okay, it, there's no, I, I can't remember, um, oh shoot, what's, uh, I can't remember the other, I can't remember the, uh, oh damn it, anyway, like, it's literally, a mo Bad Boys for Life is Danny Glover's character in Lethal Weapon, and it's both of them, okay, and that's it, and I'm supposed to go, this is supposed to be interesting, this is supposed to be a high adrenaline act, they literally had to force the, uh, a, a new team called Ammo just to establish any level of intensity into this movie. To show that these two guys are so... Like, the addition of the Ammo team, being the younger uh, detectives or police officers, actually enforces how useless and irrelevant having these two... Having Will Smith... And Martin Lawrence, Mar uh, Marcus, and and uh, Mike are because they're so outshone by these by this younger group, showing how useless and er it's character driven. It's such cliche, corny, pathetic, forced character dr uh, uh, characterization that. It, that I'm sorry. Okay, if if you thought that this, thinking that this is a good movie in and of itself, that's fine. That's one thing. If you've never seen Bad Boys One, you've never seen Bad Boys Two, and you're seeing Bad Boys for Life, and you've uh, uh, as a standalone movie, sure. Compared to the action movies that exist now, sure you might like this. Sure you might think it was a good movie, but don't don't you dare attempt to compare it to the first two movies and not expect me to call you out on your bullshit idiocy. Just... Anyway, I, 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 again, therapeutic rant. I had to get, had to get that out. Uh, now, this movie was, was, is instantly forgettable. Okay? There's no way it's going to make enough money for a Bad Boys 4, even if they ever do. Like, I'm seriously... I, the only way... I bet you the only reason... They got Martin Lawrence back is because they offered him a shit ton of money to get out of a, to, to come out of retirement for this movie. They just went here. We're gonna back up uh, a dump truck full of money, uh, Martin. Do you mind coming in? Mind coming back for a Bad Boys Three? And he probably went as long as I can do as little as possible. And they went sure, no problem. As long as we got you on screen, that's all anybody cares about. And the fact that you gave this a ninety-six percent boggles my mind. And absolutely establishes your opinion on movies are is irrelevant. It really is. And I don't care how much hate. Well, like I have to worry nobody's gonna watch this video anyway. Anyway, I'm done because th th this is more than this movie even deserves to talk about because it was a nothing movie. <sighs> anyway, I'm out of here. See ya.